हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ सेशन सेवन आई होप यू हैव वॉच्ड द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वेरी केयरफुली एंड अंडरस्टूड द टॉपिक्स एंड डन द असाइनमेंट क्वेश्चंस आल्सो मेंशन इन दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट डन टिल नाउ प्लीज डू इट एंड देन कम बैक टू दिस वीडियो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो दैट इज नेटवर्क कॉम्पोनेंट्स द फर्स्ट नेटवर्क कॉम्पोनेंट इज सर्वर in a client server networking model a server is that that computer which provides a service to another computer programs and its users it is one of the powerful computer and having high speed processing and great storage capacity it stores large amount of data in it and provides do, provide those data to the other computers which are connected to it let's take an real life example when we search anything in the computer with the help of internet then this query is transferred from our computer to the internet and from internet to the servers the server takes these queries as a request and search the content related to that query when it gets the relevant web pages related to that query then it sends it back to ourselves like users this result which is sent by the server to the users is known as response a server is used as a main computer in almost every networking environment and it is recommended that we must need a server for the secure and efficient use of any networking environment the next component is client in a networking the clients are those computers or devices which ask for the services from the servers in the above example the computer which search for the search for the query is known as client it is also known as node its main work is to search for any information from the server which which uh, this information is known as request for the servers then the server checks the relevant information related to that request and give the response to these clients in the form of web pages this whole process is followed when we search for the information in any search engine and our device is acts as a client in this case the next component is network interface card that is nic the network interface card is a primary device that enables a computer to talk with other computer or another network in a computer networking a network interface card is used to connect our computer to a local data network or the internet it also provides the hardware interface between a computer and a network sometimes it is also known as network adapter this network card is inbuilt in most of the laptops but in case of desktop we can additionally inbuilt it during the time of purchasing of our pc this can also be attached in externally this card is necessary for connecting the computer to the internet or to the another computer the next topic is mode of connection the computer networks are categorized according to the software and hardware resources that means we must need the combination of software as well as hardware for connecting one computer to another computer so for that purpose we must no need some of the basic uh, network hardware components like like network interface card that is nic bridges hubs switches and route routers also and for connecting these devices to the computer and network we must need the cables or wireless lans the cables which are nowadays used for network connection is optical fiber which allows the fast tra 
transmission of signals now let's move to the next topic that is modem modem is the short form of modulator and demodulator as we all know that our computers are nowadays only understands digital data which is in the form of zero and one that is in binary language so modem is used to convert the digital signal of a computer sending to analog signals that can be transmitted over telephone lines after that before sending the analog signal to the destination computer another modem converts it into digital signal that could be processed by the receiving computer in short we can understand this as the modem converts or modulates the analog signal coming from the telephone line into the digital signal before entering to the computer and after that it also demodulates -mo -module the digital signal into the analog signal the speed of the modem is measured in bps that is bits per second in the figure we can clearly see the use of modem which acts as a modulator and demodulator for the network there are basically two types of modem the first one is wireless and the second one is wired modem that is known as cable modem also a wireless modem is used to connect the computer to the network wirelessly it does not require any telephone system for the connection it converts the radio signals into the digital data and the digital data into the radio signals when we want to connect to the internet wirelessly then we have to uh, get attached to the wireless internet service provider like jio voda vodafone airtel these are the internet service providers in india and once we get attached to these wireless isps then we can get access to the internet jio5 is the simple example of this wireless modem with the help of which we can connect various devices at our home or offices to the internet wirelessly the next one is cable modem or we can say wired modem this modem requires the use of telephone system and it is connected to the devices with the help of wires these modems connect uh, converts the analog signals from the telephone lines to the digital signal and also convert vice versa that means digital to analog also bsnl is one of the common internet service provider in india which provides the telephone system as well as the broadband service with the help of telephone lines only once we take the connection in tele telephone line then we can use the internet by installing the cable modem into the telephone line that's all for this video in the next video i will discuss the remaining topics of this session